we already have the inventory defined as part of the environments file we have the roles which we can apply and in this video i'm going to show you applying the common role uh, to the to all the hosts really because that's what is part of our common playbook and when we apply the code it is always in the form of playbook that we apply this code not the roles directly and this is an example of a playbook that is common playbook which applies on all the host and what role it applies is the common role so if you look at the common role and what you typically look at is the task so you can start with the main.yaml and main.yaml calls other tasks including package debian and uh, environment debian and it does that conditionally only on debian group based systems and if you look at any of the additional tasks and this generally has just one or two you know um, tasks here in this case it is just installing a packages and it accepts the list of packages as part of the variables and variables again can go as part of group wars here so if you go to the group wars and define any of the package names it is going to iterate over it and then apply that or install those packages in addition to that, you can also define the system paths. System paths are created using a template like this. Template is a, you know, this Ansible uses Jinja Python based Jinja 2 template. And uh, this is where you can embed again the group variables or the variables that you define, which include the system paths as well as the common paths. So common and all of those default variables can be found in the defaults directory of that role. Here you'll find system paths and uh, you can also have additional parts which you can define as part of group variable so if you want to define some environment or you know uh, paths uh, path uh, directories uh, you can add it to this additional paths in the group verse and it can get configured on all the nodes or, or the relevant nodes that you want to deploy it on so this is the common playbook now to apply this playbook you would use ansible playbook command if you run ansible playbook hyphen hyphen help you'll see a bunch of options right here uh, we are going to use a few of these useful options uh, you can examine the options and find out what all is relevant to you including in fact you can also provide some passwords uh, pseudo passwords and um, you can provide the inventory files you can also list host or tags uh, tasks or tags as well you can provide the become options or you can have that as part of the playbook itself as well you can also use syntax check and hyphen hyphen check hyphen hyphen check is for dry run versus hyphen hyphen syntax check is for checking the syntax of your yaml files which are part of the playbook now what we are going to apply is the common playbook that is common.yaml so if you want to apply it simply you can just use ansible hyphen playbook common.yaml i'm using hyphen hyphen list hosts which shows me which host what is the list of hosts that it is going to apply on it has only one play if it had multiple plays it would have shown per play uh, if i run list task it shows me what are the tasks it is going to apply and this comes from the you know the common play common role rather uh, these tasks if i run syntax check if everything is fine it will not return any error you can also look at the exit code of that command using echo dollar question mark and um, you can uh, when you're ready you can start applying that first using the dry run using hyphen hyphen check option when i use hyphen hyphen check option it does not commit the changes it is just going to check and do a dry run and see if that is going to go through most of the time this shows you some info useful information so it is always good to have uh, definitely syntax check and if you need to do a dry run you you have an option to do that using hyphen hyphen check option and if you look at the output whatever is in green is already present let's say the build essential and duplicate was already installed rest of the packages would get installed if i remove that hyphen hyphen check option similarly it shows me that it is going to add the paths um, and then install or set up supervisor d and start that service as well so finally once i'm satisfied i'm going to remove that hyphen hyphen check option that's what i've done and this time around it will actually start making changes which will include installing the packages setting up the paths defining the supervisory configuration etc etc 
and it shows me which packages even in the list of packages this is a new feature in ansible earlier it used to just show me even if it is a list of packages it will just show me whether it has changed or not in this case now with the new version it shows you know it goes and shows granularly for each individual packages status and that is for every host that I'm applying this on. That includes 11, 12, 13, whichever host I I have as part of my configurations or my inventory rather, and the host pattern. Yeah, and at the bottom I see the play recap where it actually shows me how many tasks it has made changes to. How many are just okay, which means that have been okay. And how many have changed if there are if there were errors, if any of the hosts were unreachable, it would also show me in this report. So I've successfully applied the common playbook to all the hosts that I have as part of my inventory. And it is item important if you run it again, since everything is already in place, it is not going to make any changes anymore because you know it compares the state of the resources versus what you have in the Ansible code. And if there is no drift, if there is no change, it is not going to take any action. And that's what you see in the la in the second run. It will not fail either. So it it has that built-in intelligence and add importance with Ansible. And I can validate the changes that I've made by just doing an ad hoc query. That's another useful thing that you can do with Ansible. Let's say Ansible all hyphen A, which, and one of the package name, possibly unzip. And uh, if it has been installed, I know that it's been run using Ansible and it's been successfully installed already. That's about applying the common playbook to all the hosts.